What's up guys? Collector B here. Uh, so we're going to do something a little different today. I've been toy hunting but haven't found anything super exciting besides what everyone is pretty much finding at the stores. So decided to do something different. I did get a question about where I got my table that I pose my figures on when I do these videos. And as you can see here, I've got three of them here. Two side tables and a main table. Uh, me and my wife actually made all of these. Not the tables and the legs, obviously, but the comics on them. Um, so the first one we did was, well, we've been doing these for a couple years, actually. Uh, this wasn't the very first one we did. This is probably my favorite. Uh, it's a Spider-Man table. Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man table. Um, super cool. Cut a bunch of comics. Pasted it down. Made a nice side table. So I've got a couple figures that are always on this guy. I had to take them off for this video, but super cool. Really like this one. The next one, we did this main table, and it was Batman Killing Joke. All the comics are from Batman the Killing Joke. Uh, super cool. This was one of the first ones we did. It's a little rougher than the other ones because it was one of the first ones we did, but I really like how it turned out. One of my favorite tables. Uh, super cool. A lot of you, I'm sure, have read The Killing Joke. Great, great great comic so had to make a table like that batman's one of my favorite characters so decided to do that and then the last one we actually made this for someone and i don't remember what happened but we didn't end up they didn't end up wanting it but it was uh x-men spider-man kind of mashed up together so did another side table also have a bunch of figures that sit on this one so fine with me keeping this one so i got these three uh we've done quite a bit of these for a couple people uh, just haven't done them in a what maybe two two years three years maybe four like five no yeah we haven't done them in quite a while but uh we decided to do one since the toy hunts are pretty much the same everywhere right now so haven't found those turtles in the skies either so what we did we got a canvas i will show you that it's a wood canvas and we are going to do basically the same thing to it that we did to these tables, but we are going to use Invincible the comics. So yeah, we'll show you the process of how we make it uh, step by step. And yeah, let me know what you guys think and we'll go from there. What's up guys? So we're going to start cutting comics for our canvas. We're gonna use Invincible 27. Some of that, there's not a lot of that one I want to use. Uh, what is this? Invincible 106. Did I read that correct? Yep. Okay. So we're going to use that. That has quite a bit of comics I want to use in there. And then we're going to take some out of the graphic novel, Volume 3, Invincible, which has Mark and Nolan's fight scenes. So we're going to use those. We're going to start chopping comics to fill this canvas. <laughs> Now that we got our comics cut, got quite a few good ones here. We are going to map out the canvas. Uh, we will probably improvise when we start gluing down, but it's always good to kind of map out how you want to do it. Make sure you got enough comics. So here we go. <laughs> What's up guys here we go so we've got this all mapped out we're gonna just transfer straight to this canvas same size so what you want to use is Mod Podge this is what we use uh, you glue it down with this and then there'll be one more step after this we'll have to let it dry and we'll then film the last step and then we are done so here we go <laughs> So we've got 
our finished canvas. Got to do one more thing. It is this Mod Podge gloss acrylic spray. Uh, this pretty much seals everything in, makes it not sticky. Highly recommend using this stuff. Um, I've done a couple tables before and didn't use this and it is very sticky and everything sticks to it. So we're going to do the last thing. Wanna spray all over the comics. Oh my god, that's powerful. Yep. Probably should have opened the garage. That's okay. Alright. There we go. So we'll let that dry and then we're done. What's up guys? So we have finished our canvas of Invincible. Uh so take a look. Uh, took a couple days just because we wanted to let the Mod Podge dry, uh, let everything settle in. Then we did another coat of Mod Podge that you didn't see. Uh, kind of recommend to do that. Get it pasted down, do another coat, and then make sure you do that spray and make sure you guys let it dry with adequate time. But really super happy of how it turned out. Uh, it's really, really colorful compared to the other ones I've done. But I mean, Invincible is quite a colorful comic. Uh, but super cool. Uh, I didn't show the back of the canvas, but it's just something like this to hang. So this is probably going to get hung up uh, somewhere, either in this room or in the hallway. Um, so super excited. I love how it turned out. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Also, if you have not watched Invincible, watch Invincible. It is amazing. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. Watch it. Super, super cool. Another cool thing. I know I'm out of camera now. Got this from a comic book shop we went and looked at. This little poster. Super cool. Got this for free. Um, so check the comic book stores. They'll probably still have a bunch to give you away. But like I said, check it out. Amazon Prime. Great. This will make a little bit more sense if you watch it. Um, I really liked it. My wife really liked it. And, you know, we're super happy to have this uh, to add to our collection. So uh, definitely something I love doing with my wife. It's haven't done it in a while, like I said, but it was definitely a good time. Took a while, but it was awesome. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys would like some, we may do some more here and, you know, maybe do some customs for you guys if you would like it. So Hit me up on Instagram, Collector BA. Uh, send me a message. Let me know if you want something. Maybe we'll do something for you and go from there. But uh, yeah, super excited. I know it's totally, totally different. Ugh, geez. I know it's totally different than a toy hunt, but uh, you know, something fun to do. So again, comment, like, subscribe. And as always, collectors never stop collecting.